great show tonight. Thanks for braving the blizzard. Like I've seen the other uh, grown-up shows say, hey, we have a really big show tonight. But uh, we've never been able to say it and have it be true. Yeah. But it's, tonight it's true. That's right. We have an actual night. We have a night, but we have like... Sir people. David Peel. Marijuana. We have broadcasting legend Dick Cabot on yeah, tonight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You fake it, you little <laughs> wretch. <laughs> Best-selling author in America three years in a row, R.L. Stein. Once an article called me a literary training bra for Stephen King. <laughs> he was on one of those Forbes most wealthy people. He was? Yeah, lists, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just just so you know. I'm underdressed. Okay, yeah. and then... And we have the winner of uh, two years in a row of the uh, World Artificial Intelligence Competition, Dr. Richard Wallace. That's great. Well, also <laughs> sad, lonely men in their basements would love, love this thing. That's what a, a lot of people think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so first, we're going to meet Dave, someone that he created. Yes, you brought your, your spare love doll here. That's all right. <laughs> that one is, is not as soiled as the other, so I brought it. I could bring it. Everyone, please welcome... Alice. You're holding the mic up to the doll. <laughs> um, how do you begin? You uh, begin by saying, hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Hello there. Thank you for coming. You are welcome. So modern science has created the most boring talk show guys. <laughs> <laughs> and bring on Mr. Cavett, and he, he might have some questions as well. Uh, because he is, uh, he's someone that I uh, used to just uh, adore and uh, idolize, and I always dreamed that someday I would do a sad, pathetic, twisted version <laughs> of, uh, of his show in some basement. <laughs> and uh, all my dreams have come true. I can't wait to show it to him. Uh, please welcome Mr. Dick Cavett. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh yes, I know. This is just like your show in that the, the guest gets to stay and talk to the new guest. ABC Field would say, cunning little homunculus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. I met, I, I met Alice backstage. <laughs> she, she groped me. But, um, and the other thing, wh when you first start out, is you stick to your notes. And the guest says something, and you really aren't listening. You're looking at the next thing if, if you're using notes. Eventually, you learn not to. And I swear once, it was at least this bad that a guest said, uh, so we opened the old rusty trunk, and you'll never guess what was inside. And I heard myself say, do you have any hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> do you like New York? What is not to like about it? Yeah, that was a stupid question, Andy. No. <laughs> I've actually had dates go worse than this. You know, I've been called uh, Stephen King for kids for years and years, which I I'm, think that's a real compliment. I sure. I think, think he's a great storyteller. But I've never met him. Once, once an article called me a literary training bra for Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't really want to be called a training bra. That was not... <laughs> no, you the highest like praise a writer can Yeah, receive. you want to be yeah. referred to as a D-cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that I Thanks, have. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks, Ken, but, for that. Well, yes, that's when I wonder does what... Does Ken's mic have an off uh, switch? Or <laughs> <laughs> it, it does, actually. <laughs> How many roads must a man walk down <laughs> before you can call him a man? I've always Not as many as you might think. <laughs> Do you have any questions for Alice? No. <laughs> I really, I, I don't like this. I'm not not hey, happy. But hey. I would fall on the floor. I would laugh hardest at Mel Brooks. And uh, You laugh harder you, at Mel in, in many ways, yeah. yeah. I, just, I just did uh, a thing with him out in California for two hours on stage together. And everybody said it was the funniest evening of their life. Still, now, he's people still have there. said that many times about other things, too. This may well be, and uh, I hope it will be seen somewhere. It was, it was recorded. 
uh, I never laughed harder, and I made Mel laugh hard, and we just, well, at one be, point he went straight sleep. over, I thought he was going to die. He went straight <laughs> forward and didn't come up for a while, uh, <laughs> laughing at something I said. I don't know what it was. That's this, that's, I'm gonna it would be better for your show if I could remember yeah. <laughs> what it was. Yeah. Who, who but was I'm sure, uh, no, we trust you. I'll, if I'll, you I'll say it was funny, something. we will believe you. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> laugh. <laughs> There you go. That's how much we trust you. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. Who oh, I just thought of a very funny zinger, too. Everyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, it is cheating. Should I try a joke? Yeah, yeah, try a joke. I love making girls laugh. I've never made a computer laugh. A man had five penises. His pants fit like a glove. Thanks for telling me your taste in men. Where did he get it? <laughs> there are actual, actual kids here. Yeah, there are oh, kids. Zane, oh. what are your, Zane, come on up. <laughs> this, is, hey. uh, this is our mascot. Hey, hi, man. Hey. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, and, Zane, yeah. this, is your, this is it, Zane. What do you think is the scariest book you've written? Well, I think maybe The Haunted Mask. Did you know the haunted have mask? You, have you have you read that one, Zane? Yeah. Yeah, that's about a girl. Who I know a girl who puts on a mask. That's really scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, Is that right, what? Mr. Stein? He, he, he's. Did he, he summarize it correctly? He's going to do my whole act now. Yes, he is. Great. Okay. <laughs> well, great. Zane, thank you very much, Zane. Now you go sit. We just sit. And Zane, sit everybody. Your, would, <laughs> now, Alice, would you like to meet David Peel? No, thanks. I don't think <laughs> I'd like to do that. <laughs> well, Mr. Peel, what are we going to hear now? Okay, it's called um, America Grow Green. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Or I like marijuana. <laughs> so do I. I believe every song he does is called I Like Marijuana. Alice. Five out of four people have trouble with math. What time is it there? <laughs> there you go. So I, I will always that, have a job. No, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm surprised. They have applause signs, which I always find hilarious. Because uh, if you don't want to applause and if you have your own rights, why must you obey the goddamn thing? But... Um, uh, they never have a lap sign, do they? <laughs> no, they why, don't. why no one's thought of it? I don't know. People, no, no. People yeah, we've, pro we've actually probably obey it the way yeah. the same way they we've obey used laugh signs. We actually so used to have a please don't walk out sign. <laughs> <laughs> I like marijuana. You like marijuana. I like marijuana. You like marijuana. Here's how I got the idea for the haunted mask. One day I come home. It's before Halloween. My son Matt. He's a little guy. He's trying on a green rubber Frankenstein mask, and he pulls it down over his head, and he can't get it off. And I'm watching from the doorway, and he's tugging, and he's tugging, and he can't. And I thought, what a great idea for a story. <laughs> and I went and started making notes. I should have helped him, right? <laughs> yeah. Should have. We let marijuana too. Yeah, real you, you come from an era of television when uh, talk show hosts were expected to be educated and informed. Yeah. Is there is there any current TV that you watch that you actually? I, I, don't, I don't watch much TV anymore. I've sort of gotten out of the habit of associating TV with entertainment. Um, <laughs> but if, like, does Alice know who celebrities are? Alice, do you like Lady Gaga? I like Tom Hanks. Does that make you feel great when you're meeting kids probably every day? That, that no, I like. Know your I stuff? actually like kids. A lot, no, a lot of children's authors don't like kids at all. A lot. Are you a dad? Dude, yeah. What was here's, it like? Here's was my son's claim to fame. Okay. He's never read one of my books. Aww. Isn't that horrible? No, that it's isn't that's... that the worst? Just to make me crazy. He's never read one. He's tried to grope me again. <laughs> The uh, contest is coming up again this year, and we've just spent a lot of time preparing uh, four entries, four different uh, 
chatterbots with different personalities. And do they talk to each other? That's a really good question. You can get to chatterbots talking to each other. Can you program one to be a shrink and one to be like a sad a schizophrenic yeah, yeah. and just um, have them go, go, go? We have Alice chatting with Captain Kirk. Oh, you have a Captain Kirk program. Yeah, Captain, and uh, Alice fake, I should say it's a fake Captain Kirk. Have a marijuana smoking pot of fun. Marijuana. Alice, do you want to go out after the show with me? Okay, I will go out after the show. But don't expect anything to happen. Okay, I'll try not to do it too much. <laughs> so we will be back here at the UCB Theater on July 13th. Oh, we're missing uh, two weeks. Yeah, okay. Yes. We'll see you next month. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Good night.